Lesson 11, How Pharmaceutical Sales Associates Use Data. This lesson will be kind of a review of some of the things we talked about previously, but just want to go through how a sales representative or sales associate use data. Those terms are obviously synonymous. Uh, you want to understand the day in the life of a sales associate. Uh, understanding that will help you understand how pharma sales data is collected and analyzed. Carrying the bag, we spoke before about what's in your bag, what brands are in your bag. Making the sale in the pharma industry is unlike any other industry. Sales associates use sales data to understand their customers' behavior and adapt to market changes. Most pharma companies provide sales associates with standardized weekly and monthly reporting to assist them with their efforts. Remember that the main job of a sales associate is to sell. It's not to be an expert on the data, but understanding the data thoroughly is going to help them sell, help you sell better if you are a sales associate. So some associates are extremely analytical and use tools such as Excel to create their own view of their territory data. This is often frowned upon because, again, uh, the, the pharma company does not want associates to be, to be a data mining or doing anything else. So usually the deliverable they get is already in the best format, but some associates will take that data, however it's delivered, dump it into Excel, and then cut it in different ways as well. So how do the associates use the data? They, they'll go through pre-call planning. So usually on a Sunday night or Monday morning, the associate will review all the customers that they're going to see that week. They want to look at their sales and their prescribing habits, both from the previous week or two weeks prior and also for the whole month. When they visit the uh, healthcare provider, the HCP, and make their presentation, the dropping of their samples, the chain of custody, all that is based upon the sales data and they record it into their customer relationship management tool. What are the calling locations of your HCP? Sometimes your HCP may have multiple calling locations within the same territory, maybe at a hospital or a private practice. So you want to make sure that the doctor, the HCP, is at the location you're going to call on them for during that period of time. And then as previously mentioned, uh, the data entry into the CRM system, you want to record your calls, record your details, record your sample drops, and also collect the signature from the HCP so you have a chain of custody. Did you make the sale? We, we also went over this previously. Sales associates are selling through the HCP. A healthcare provider makes the ultimate decision on what to prescribe to their patients. So you're trying to convince your, your customer, your HCP, to sell through to write a prescription to their patients. Third-party weekly and monthly sales data will show you whether or not the specific HCP is writing prescriptions for your product. So uh, the sales associate may go in and the, and, the, and the HCP may say, yes, I am writing your product. Yes, I am writing prescriptions for your brand. But you don't know that to be true until you actually see it in the data. Some reasons why prescriptions may not show up in your sales data. The HCP may think a competitor's product is better for a specific patient. The HCP writes a prescription for your company's product, but the pharmacist may substitute a generic. That's why sometimes when a doctor writes a, a prescription for your drug, uh, it, it'll say no subs, no substitutions. So when a, a patient takes that, that, uh, that subscription to their pharmacy to be filled, the pharmacist will know not to substitute a generic or another product for that specific product that your, your HCP wrote the prescription for. Another reason they may not show up in sales data is the HCP writes a prescription for your company's product, but the HCP subscribe to the physician data restriction program. So you can't see the specific scripts associated to that HCP because they're a PDRP doctor and therefore you're not allowed to have insight into that doctor's writing habits uh, because they are not allowed to be shown on your specific deliverables, reports, dashboards, etc. Fortunately, the vast majority of HCPs have not joined the PDRP program, which is great because that way you can see what they're writing. Also, an, uh, an HCP sometimes may assume that if they join the program, the sales associates will stop seeing them and therefore they're not going to get any samples to pass, pass on to their patients. And another reason they may not be showing up is because of DMRL. If the doctor has, is deceased, has moved, has retired or is legally restricted from writing a prescription, they may not show up in your sales data. Once again, to go over off-label promotion and marketing, products are approved by the FDA for a specific indication. That's because your pharma company submitted 
to the FDA approval for a specific indication. An indication may be for specific genders, age, groups, and to treat specific conditions and ailments only. Sales associates cannot promote, make a presentation to an HCP outside the bounds of the FDA approval, off-label. They can't make a presentation for that. You cannot say, please prescribe my product to your eight and nine-year-old patients if it is not approved for eight and nine-year-olds. HCPs can and do prescribe products to patients that fall outside the FDA approval or off-label. So an HCP can make an informed decision and discuss with their patients and say, hey, this product may not be approved for you, but it'll be fine for you based upon the data. That is totally fine. Pharma sales data will show outliers and some of these outliers are okay. Others point to a potential issue with targeting, alignment, and or incentives. This is the end of lesson 11. There will now be a 10 question quiz.